It's an honor to be here. I was over there feeling sad, thinking about the people who lost their lives because of greed and short-sightedness. And I started reading the, my talking points, and they let me know something that made me feel a little bit better because not only were the people who lost their lives honored in the rebuilding, it was not only rebuilt, but it was rebuilt better. It was rebuilt in a way that is increasing the number of people who can get across that bridge safely. It's increasing the speed by which they can get across that bridge. And it's built so that a, a light rail can come later on and save more gas and save more uh, time and save more of the resources that get expended. See, part of the thing that we have to begin to understand is that we get tricked against each other, used against each other, divided against each other. Supposedly, if you care about the economy, you're not supposed to give a damn about the environment. And if you care about the environment, you're not supposed to give a damn about the economy. But we have built a labor movement that knows how to respect the earth and create jobs so we can have a good environment and a good economy. That's what you stand for out here in Minnesota. That's who you are. I get tired of people putting down labor unions. I get tired of hearing these blowhards on the radio talking about union thugs and, 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 all, and all these slurs against the backbone of our country. I'm sick and tired of the good working people in this country being put down and put down and put down when the only thing that you want to do is put the country back up where it belongs. We need to stick up for working people. We need to stick together. Yeah. Now listen. The dignity of your fight, the moral center of your fight, is that you're not just fighting for yourselves. That's the key. Yes, you want to be able to take home a better paycheck to your families. Your families deserve that. Yes, you want to be able to put away a little something for your kids so they can have a better life. That's what it means to be an American. That's the core of the American dream. But what's key is that when you fight, you aren't fighting just for your families. You're fighting for the whole American family. You're fighting to make sure that you're the people who help the people who are trying to get to work, who are trying to make a better life. The, 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 the infrastructure that we talk about at its core is a human infrastructure. It's an infrastructure of well-trained workers who care about this country, who do a good job even when they aren't forced to because they know the stakes are not doing a good job. That's the infrastructure. The people, we the people, are the infrastructure. And if the American dream is going to mean anything at all, it's got to mean that people stop taking cheap shots and, 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 and doing nasty put-downs for the people we all rely on every day just to survive. And you should not fight alone anymore. I'm tired of Democrats running the labor and asking for, for campaign checks but can't say the word labor union in their speeches. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. At a certain point, the dignity of labor is the dignity of the nation. And you should not fight alone. And you're not going to. We got kids coming home from these wars. They're leaving a military battleground. And they're coming home to an economic battleground. And we're not doing anything for them. 17 suicide attempts a day. Those young people need heroes and champions. You are those heroes and those champions. You fight for an economy our kids can come home to, and we will stand with you. Thank you very much.